Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna do a chit chat, get ready with me from hair to makeup. I'm already dressed, you know? And this is a really cute, like, let me show you. Yeah, let's just start with the hair. I have my hair in two cornrows and last night I co-washed it and it's nice and clean. After I co-wash, I use leave-in conditioner and I just tied it down, so here we are. I'm gonna lay it down further with this product right here. What I love about this is it doesn't even require a brush. You can literally just use your fingers to lay everything down. I take a lot of product, just buy some more. And again, at night you're rinsing it off and it really just lays down the hair easily. If you were to use a brush, a toothbrush, you know, you can do your little swivels and stuff but I'm not doing swivels today see how flat that is and I have 4c hair whatever try this product out girl I think you're gonna like it I did a video on this wig it's already on my channel if you want to see me try out different headbands that I bought to go with this wig take a look at that but I will link this hair below it is human hair and I just love the ease of it all so look at this and I could just leave it with this black comb but I'm gonna put a headband on top of this fold it back okay let's get this makeup going okay I gotta clean I, look at me you're, okay you're gonna be very irritated because I love the hang time of this ponytail and it's so soft that I'm going to intentionally whip my ponytail back and forth I'm putting you on notice right now if you feel irritated watch a different video but I can't guarantee that the other video is not gonna annoy you either you know like it's just what it is. We like to enjoy life, okay? Took my nails off today while I was working out because it was time. I did the nail set a week and two days ago and it was enough. It was enough for me. Ooh, this one's finished. I gotta get more. This is the Elf Cosmetics Lip Lock On Lip Primer. There are two different ones. If you're trying to get this one, it's Lock On Lip Primer. So opened a new one. It'll make the lips nice and tacky after a little bit. But yeah, so Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner in this tube. And I'm and what I do now is clean my brushes as I go along so that nothing is building up. It gets annoying. So I'm not gonna use a face primer today. I know, a little strange. Just not gonna do that. All right, so I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Deep Cool Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. Two pumps of those. Yeah, so what was I saying, Lord? How are you doing with COVID? I, at first I was like, okay, you know, this is just for the meantime. There's nothing we can do about it. It just is what it is. And I know that this is just also still is what it is, but I can't lie that I'm, I guess it's cabin fever. Just so sick and tired of doing the same old, same old. Working every day, creating content is what I do full time. Obviously being home with my family and I'm so grateful that I don't have to go into an office to work with people that I can't stand. Not having to deal with that is a humongous blessing, like a an absolute humongous blessing, right? But then of course being stuck at home is a burden. I mean, clearly we want to be safe. We want to do the right thing. We barely do anything. We barely go anywhere. And yeah. Santa doesn't bring a present so we can pay money. What do you mean? Santa do not come to our house. Right, Santa's not real. He's just pretend. Jesus gives mommy and daddy the money, and then we buy the presents. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Again, I'm in a rush, so I need that to dry fast. So to understand why I why I was fanning down the concealer, watch my concealer video where I talk about a bunch of concealers, one of which is that Julia's Place concealer, which is what I just used, number 10. And then you'll, you know, in the video, I explain why I do that and what kind of concealers I would let dry down and what kind of concealers I would not let dry down. So make sure you watch that video. It was starting, or it has been really stressful because I obviously know people, and you just see like online, people really, traveling and, and enjoying life and going places and, and hanging out with their friends and their family. And I'm just like, yo, how are they doing all of this in spite of COVID? And some are taking precautions, some are not. And it's just like, you know how you feel like, wait, I'm, tr I'm trying to do the right thing. Here I am suffering in some way, right? Obviously none of us have it. I'm, it's all relative, right? But then you look online and you just hear from people, friends and family, and it's like, yo, y'all are really out here living as if COVID ain't even happening. So there's that too, where it's like, well, dang, I wanna, maybe I shouldn't be taking it so seriously, but of course I'm gonna take it seriously. And just not being able to do the same old, same old things that I used to do. Again, I wasn't out here in these streets every day, but it's just still nice to just know like you can do something, like go have a girl's night or whatever it is. And granted, I suppose at this point, 
you know, I could still do that if we wear masks, but I know some people are not even doing that, <sighs> not even doing the mask. But I can say that now, now that I've settled on the realization that this is going to be with us for a long time and we just have to make do, we do have a family trip planned coming up soon and God willing, we're able to go, but I'm still watching the news and seeing what's going on. And if it just doesn't sit well in our spirit, we're just not gonna go. Clearly this is gonna be with us for some time. And now I'm gonna contour with Juvia's Place stick. I always call it stick foundation. It's called shade sticks. It is a stick foundation, but the actual term is shade stick. So this is the shade stick in the color Congo. It's a foundation. So if you have really deep, dark skin, you could use Congo as your foundation. I'm using it as a contour and it's a foundation that has a dewy finish. So it does look oily on my skin once I'm done blending it in, but that's why I set it with a setting powder. I mean, I, I set my whole face. It's not really setting the face, but it's adding a little bit of color, making it look good. I guess it's called setting, you know. This has got to go in the hairline in order for it to look most natural. And again, I wash and condition my hair, I co-wash my hairline every evening that I, Okay, I don't co-wash every evening, let me be honest. I rinse it out every evening that I wear makeup, but now I'm gonna co-wash each time too. Like, come on, it doesn't take much. Setting my face or setting my highlighted areas with the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. I did a first impressions of this in a different video that should be up by the time you see this. And I was kind of on the fence about it, but I keep on trying it and I think it's nice. It's, it's not like, it's not miraculous like I expected it to be, but is it nice? Yeah, it's nice. Okay, so taking some in the cap get right here before you start bending your eyes not bending your eyes closing your eyes <laughs> so you want to get right in here before you start moving and talking so you can set the, the area that creases but speaking of instagram if you're not following me there make sure you are it's a lot of fun i post a lot more there and on my ig stories it's a daily vlog okay it's a daily vlog so I'm sure you are following there okay i have been loving this big huge fluffy brush from complex culture i did a campaign with ipsy and this was a brush that was in it and i was like it Excuse me, jumbo ginormous rush come to mama. Like covers so much ground with little work and it is so lush, very, very lush. It came in the box, so I don't know how much this would cost by itself. I'm gonna look it up and link it below if I can for you, but this is so lush. Oh, this is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition Powder Foundation in the color Deep Cool 2, okay? Awesome. Now we're going on to eyebrows. Morphe Brow Pencil in the cover, cover, in the color Java. So yeah, on the topic of coping, cause this, you know, we've got to cope with this. I'm curious to know what you're doing to cope. Are you coping well? Are you coping poorly? Are you struggling? Are some days better than others? Are you living your best life? Do you feel like YOLO or are you being uber cautious? What are you doing? I'm not gonna, I don't want this to be a fight, fight zone in the comments. Just curious to know how you feel about what's going on, how you're holding up. I haven't talked about it on here ever. So what better time than now? Now we're gonna clean the brows up with this NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the color Amand. Another thing that I wanna talk about is consumption, right? So what are you consuming on a daily basis? And is it edifying? Is it just entertaining? Is it entertaining and edifying? Or is it a complete waste of your time? Because for me, I, of course I, I mean, my job is social media. So I like to stay abreast with what is going on on Instagram, YouTube, the people that I follow, just what's happening, I enjoy that I follow, if I don't enjoy, I'll unfollow, right? But I enjoy the folks that I follow, what's going on with brands, what's new, what's happening, what's cracking, you see? So I, of course, need to stay up to date with that stuff every day. You don't, that's my strategy. But then I also like to listen to podcasts. So I'm gonna show you the podcasts that I have downloaded that I enjoy listening to through the day because, yo, the inputs that we allow into our body, into our mind, are really, really important. I mean, it affects the way your day goes. It affects what we think about. It affects how we respond to people and it affects our, just our growth in general. So it's like, are you growing each day or at least most days? Or are you just simply living and just getting by? The getting by is not for me. I used to do that, but I like to be as mindful as I can in terms of what my inputs are. Granted, there are times during the day where I'm just like, you know what? I just want to watch Real Housewives of Potomac, okay? And I'll do that. But a 
lot of times I'm like, and and I also watch the news. I like to stay abreast with what's going on. But obviously, if if watching something is disrupting my peace of an, in any sense, then I'll limit it or just stop. So if I feel like okay, watching too much about injustices, injustice, injustices in the world is disrupting my peace, I'll stop. You know, with the whole George Floyd thing, I stumbled upon that video and didn't know what I was getting myself into and it wrecked me. But I'm glad I watched it because it's important to see, I think. Like just oh. with what's going on with SARS in Nigeria, I've seen some of the swipe left posts, but I haven't seen videos of what's going on. You know how like online these days, you can see videos of people getting killed, getting robbed, getting anything. I told myself with all that is going on this year, there have been so many of these types of videos of like horrible things happening to people. I remember one time I stumbled upon this Instagram story of Jackie Ina posted it. These women were being, oh my God, like, oh, I just, I, I, I actually just got chills because it just made me so angry. Like, doesn't matter how we feel about certain people or what they decide to do. And I have to, ooh, thunder. I have to remind myself of that too. It doesn't mean that I don't ever see people who, who I don't agree with or what have you. It doesn't mean that I don't ever see that and feel like the like the teens would say some kind of way we're all human and i might see a trump supporter and get angry i, I don't but i'm just getting, giving you an example so anyway in the videos that i like i went down this rabbit hole of watching because i was so horrified by it i could not believe it and this is the easy thing that can happen online is you just go down a rabbit hole of like what did i just see right that's why i've i've really limited what i'm looking at when it comes to sars because i just can't emotionally handle it and in fact i saw a post today from hyatt rita on ig and she was saying that just because i don't i'm jumping on topics we're having a conversation here she was saying that just because i don't post about a certain societal issue doesn't mean that i don't care it just simply means that i don't have the emotional capacity to continue to talk about these topics and i really i felt that because it doesn't mean that i don't care it doesn't mean that i don't see i have eyes i have ears i'm online i see what incarnation is going on i just don't have the emotional wherewithal to do this every day. What is this? To advocate and talk about and argue and all these things. It does not mean that the person doesn't care. I've, obviously, you just have to know the person's heart and know like, okay, yeah, she don't mean anything by it. Granted, there's some folks who just ain't gonna say anything. There is that and I understand that. But I loved her post because although I don't know her in person, I get the sense that she's what she's saying is true. And that is the same for me. It's like, because I, I, like, I was all over it with George Floyd, but then I had to realize like, this is this has taken control of my mind and I was I was fearful. It was just too much. And I was like, you know what? I really have to pull back on, on this because it's not that I don't care. It's not that I'm not staying abreast with what's going on. I just cannot watch everything. Like I cannot watch the funeral. And the guy in the Wendy's parking lot who fell asleep and then they cheat. <sighs> I watched that video so many times. It's just too much. So, so what happened in LA is that there were black men. I was horrified, disgusted. I don't know if they tracked these women down. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna build up my crease with the Sewa palette. She's a Ghanaian black owned, uh, black owned business. Business. Here we go on the inside. Yeah, they robbed them. They were making fun of them. They were call calling them all kinds of horrific names. They were laughing at them. And most egregious part of it all is they were doing all of this while recording them. And I was horrified. I mean, the day we live in, is this what we've, is this what we're doing now? Whenever you commit crimes against people, you record it? What, what, what are we doing? You know? I was just like, yo, Yo, why does someone deserve that? Just because you don't agree with the way that they choose to live their life? What is it, you see? I don't wanna debate with anybody because it's not about a debate. This is about humanity. As human beings, do we have a right? And I gotta tell you, I've come a long way. I haven't always cared about people and their feelings and what they doing. So we're just having a discussion right now because uh, on a humanity level, how is that okay? How is that right? These fools felt like it was funny. I I just could not, I just could not. Okay, I'm taking, that was the color patience in the palette and I'm taking the color affluence. It's a brown. Actually, I should take a flower. 
flat shadow brush. Yeah, they thought it was funny. They were recording the whole thing. I was horrified by it, angered by it, hurt by it. I just could not believe it. I mean, and then it ended up on the news, you know, and it became a big thing because these fools recorded the whole thing, which is so stupid. And they have an online presence of some sort. I don't know how many people follow them or what have you. Clearly you documented your crime, dummy. You know. I just saw that the news covered it and I was like, good, I hope that the justice system handles them. On a humanity level, I'm, I'm, I'm learning that we've got to be able to get along and respect people even if you don't agree or like something about them. I mean, I've worked with people that I don't like. Like, I don't like how you live, how you behave, how you speak to me or to whatever but in order to just get along you can't just force yourself to just get along with someone or like find something decent about them that you can get along with you just gotta trash them because of whatever the situation is i just and again that has taken growth i'm no saint because when it all comes down to it how do i want to be treated and what what gives me the right to just treat someone like this what right do i have what license do i have to do that that's what i believe we need to think about. I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't agree with this. I don't agree with that. But what license do I have to treat you like? Yo, people treat their dogs better than they treat humans sometimes. My husband got on me like that about that because when we first got together, I had a dog and I took her everywhere. I took her on flights. Honey, she was catching flights whenever I traveled. I mean, I treated her like a person. I, I wasn't a mom at that time and I saw her as my child, you know, kind of psychotic, but I really loved her, you know, and he really made me understand like yo people in america he's not from america he's like people in america treat their dogs better than they treat humans and i was offended by that at first but i've grown to really understand what he means now some folks out here making making their dogs acai bowls you know what i'm saying but then you know they treat their neighbor or their whoever like garbage so i'm i'm challenged in this season to really recognize how i'm treating people my husband's really good about keeping me accountable <laughs> to that. So in this season, I do believe that we need to really be cognizant of how we're treating people, both those that we know and don't know. Sometimes it's hard, yo. Sometimes it's hard, yo. Sometimes it's hard, yo. Okay, so I'm not trying to say, oh, this is kind of like a serious video. <laughs> we're talking, you know, we're talking and doing makeup. This is still affluence. I'm just blending in the patience and affluence, the reddish brown and the chocolate color. Like we've got to be able to coexist with people that we don't like and don't agree with for any reason. If I don't like you and I don't agree with you for any reason, I've got to be able to coexist. Doesn't mean that we got to talk. Doesn't mean that we got to hang out. It doesn't mean that we got to have Thanksgiving dinner together, but we've got to be able to coexist even if I don't like you and I don't agree with you and vice versa. Something to think about, you know? I'm going to clean this brush off, dip it into the brush cleaner. And it's stained, but it's a lot cleaner than it was. It's a lot cleaner than it was. You know, it's just, you know, it's just something to think about. Just something to think about in this season. Things that I think about. Just trying to be better. Jiggy's Place has a has two new holiday sets out, one of which is called the Nubian Glow. And I'm gonna use the orange. I'm gonna use two of the colors in here actually. And I'm gonna pack it on with a small flat shadow brush. I used it yesterday, so this is a little orange. So yeah, I want you to comment and let me know what you think about that. I could have cut the crease, but clearly I didn't feel like it, and that's why I didn't do that. <laughs> this is the Makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro Pencil in the color Super Black. I like to take a tool, something, back of a brush, something to expose the waterline to allow me to line it easier, and then I'm taking it and bringing it down a little bit because I'm gonna smudge that. And these are my oldie but goodie lashes from China. Girl, I've been, I bought so many of these. I'm gonna use this color right here. And I'm gonna set my contour or further contour with this. Have a girl, this is the color Deep Cool 4. It's a powder that is dark for me. So it's not a bronzer or contour powder. It's just a face powder that is darker than my skin tone that I use to contour. So that takes away the shine and deepens up the contour. And then highlight, I like to use the Rare Beauty Luminizer in the color Flaunt. Taking it in the back of my hand, it dries very fast. My sponge is just about dry, but 
but it's still a little bit damp and here we go gotta go fast because it dries very quickly taking some more on the back of my hand pinching the sponge and quick 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 I want there to be a gap between my under eyeshadow and the light the highlighter so I like to really just like get underneath my eye at an angle above the lip left over onto the chin let me put a little more a little bit on the chin and then down the middle of the nose gotta blend this fast man <laughs> and then blush okay so I've been loving these elf blushes I have the other ones in my drawer but the one right next to me is always fiery so that'll go always fiery is a red brown and that goes with any look okay here we go very pigmented yo the colors on the website do the product no justice I don't know why they have it like that they need to update it the colors do not look anything like what the product looks like in real life and I picked up just about every color Oop, bottom mascara okay that mascara still needs to dry <laughs> I'm gonna keep my eyes like this. Okay. All right, and one of my favorite peachy nudes is the color In Vogue from Juvia's Place. It's part of their new lip collection. I hope that you enjoyed this chit chat, get ready with me video. Hope you enjoyed this look. Maybe you're gonna recreate this for the fall. I don't know. If you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you feel so led. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Also, comment below on the look or just whatever I talked about. Glad you're here. Thank you for watching. Bye.